Hey you guys, so today I'm here to tell y'all all about my current favorite hair care products. Um, I would also say this is going to be basically my hair care routine right now or my most used hair care products right now. I'm going to start out with the basics shampoo. Two shampoos that I switch out because I don't like to use the same one every time I wash my hair because I don't want my hair to get used to it and me have to like it not work the same so I try to mix it up to keep my hair not getting used to that same product. This is the Soil Professionals Keratin Infusion Color Care Shampoo. It says it's supposed to um, revitalize like the smoothness of your hair. It's for like people that color their hair, people that damage it and it's dry. The smell is really good. It makes my hair extremely soft and it's very affordable. I think this is like $1.83 or something like that at Walmart. So I really recommend um, this product. So the other shampoo that I switched in between is the, this is the original mane and tail and body shampoo. And this is horse shampoo. I've been using this to help grow out my hair because my hair has a hard time growing. My hair was really damaged for a long time, so I'm trying to help it grow because I'm not gonna wear it curly every day for a year. It's just not gonna happen. So this has really been helping. I have, I feel like it's gotten a lot more thick, which says a lot because my hair is extremely thick anyways. I feel like it's thickened it and it's really made it stronger. They have a conditioner too, and I'm sure it'd be better to use both of them together, but I know if I bought the conditioner, I wouldn't use these two together. This was, for um, this is 32 fluid ounces and it was five dollars and 48 cents so it's so cheap but I did get it um I did get it at a drug store here that I know isn't anywhere else I know you can get it at Walgreens and they run specials sometimes I think like buy the shampoo get the conditioner free or something like that I'm not sure so just check it out but I know they have it at Walgreens and they do have a smaller bottle but this was just a better deal so I just picked up the big one and for conditioner the Michael O'Rourke Moisture Madness Conditioner, and I mentioned this in my last All About My Hair video, and I think I had just got it, like, not that long before that video. I really like it. I think it is a good moisturizing conditioner. It says it's for dry, brittle, and color-treated hair, and I got this at TJ Maxx. They also sell it at Marshalls, so if you have either of those, go check it out. I I've seen it there for the past several months, so just keep looking there. But it does retail at salons for a lot more money than I got it for. I got this for $10. The bottle is really funky, so I think that's really fun. It stands out, and the smell is so good. I really recommend this line. I haven't used the conditioner, I mean the shampoo, but I do like the conditioner. Then my Redken All Soft Conditioner, and this was in my Holy Grail videos, and I think it was in my May Favorites too, but... I really like it. I just picked up another one. I've really been liking this. It's made my hair so soft. It feels so healthy and just like strong and you know every time your hair feels soft of course it feels healthy because damaged hair is usually dry. This really makes it feel healthy which just is a great feeling. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Just this is an all-around great product that I I'm absolutely in love with. This is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle and I really kind of consider this a conditioner. Sometimes I'll put this only on my ends just to give it like an extra boost but it's not a thick thick treatment but if you do have healthy hair or it's not dry this would be a treatment for you because it's 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 a lighter treatment. It smells really good like all Aussie products do. It is extremely affordable. I think it's about $3. I really love this product. Then, of course, my Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I did a full review on this video or on this product. And um, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. But I just purchased, let's see, this, I have three. Well, I just ran out my first one. And my second one I got at Target. They had two pumps. A two pack and it was buy one get one free these are $30 so I basically got two for 30 which was a great deal you can get these at salonsavings.com for $15 too so you can get them for cheaper than buying them at Target or CVS or Ulta any of those places you can get them cheaper and um, like salon savings I've ordered I ordered my first one from there 
So I really do like this product. It saved my hair. It is extremely thick. I would consider this a treatment because it's thick. I have done everything from putting it in, washing it out 10 minutes later, putting it in and washing it out two hours later, and putting it in and sleeping in it. Depending on your level of damage would all depend on what you would want to do with that product. But this has ultimately saved my hair and restored it and put it back to a great state. So when I get out of the shower, you know, you put on your leave-in treatments and I have what would be the one I was using a ton. It's it's like almost gone. This is the Michael O'Rourke Leave-In and Weightless Tangle Tamer. And I got this also at TJ Maxx for $9.99. I love this. It works so good. It makes my hair so smooth. It gets all the tangles out. Really adds some extra moisture. And this is just a great product. If you don't use conditioner and you just use leave-it-in conditioners, um, like you shampoo and then you get out of the shower and use a conditioner, this is a great one because it is adds moisture but not too much moisture. So, I've been loving this, and it was almost out, so I didn't go buy one. Um, I actually picked up not something to replace it, but something to try, and I've been loving this so much. It is the <clears throat> Dove Nourishing Oil Care Detangler. I've absolutely been loving this. It has, it makes my hair so soft when I get out of the shower. It is not heavy. It's really light. It's a fine mist when you spray it, and then I just um, comb it through. And it has a great smell, a very refreshing smell, not overpowering or anything like that. And it was affordable. It was only, you know, I'm running up to $4. I've used it when I wake up and I don't wash my hair that day, I, and it's like all knotted or something. I will put this in it and brush it out, and it gets all the tangles out without making it look like wet. So that's a, it's a multi-purpose leave-in conditioner, detangler, all that jazz. Then after I put that in, I put in my oil on my ends because your ends are awful and I don't want them to look like a hay nest. What I always was using was the macadamia healing oil treatment. It's pretty expensive. Um, I think the small ones, like I've, I've never had to pay for any of mine. Um, I want to say they're like $10 maybe. I don't know. It depends on where you get it. You know, they can go up to like $25 if you get the big thing. But the little ones are pretty affordable if you want to test it out. I love this stuff. It really works. It's really thick, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. It just puts that needed moisture into your ends. But the other day, I picked up the Dove Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Anti-Frizz Serum. I've been wanting to try this. It comes in a little box, and I think it's about 4 or $5.00. I think it's five dollars I'm not sure but I've been putting this on my ends it has argan oil in it and it says it's weightless which I totally think I think it's extremely light it reminds me of my one and only argan oil but cheaper of course so I've really been liking this um, and been going to it instead of instead of using this I've been using my Dove one I don't want to run out so I kind of mix it up because you know that's always good like I said hairsprays that I love I have so many hairsprays because I don't know I just like to mix it up I just so these are the three I always have been going to lately my Aussie mega hairspray I just really love the way this smells it has a really good hold too but the smell is just like so good and I have mine in the flexible hold because usually when I use this hairspray I'm using it on like curls or a style and I don't want it to be like sticky but it does hold the hair. I just started using this again recently. This was like pulling out a memory from high school. I used to use this all the time in high school. All the time. Like ponytail for when I did cheer and it just has a great hold. This is the Tresemme Tray 2 spray and this is in number 4 the extra hold. I use it to tease a lot and if I have like something I really want it to hold like if I have something pinned back or a braid or anything I just spray some of this over it It has a good smell and it's really affordable like I haven't bought this in forever this is the same one I've had since high school I think it's like four or five dollars you know it's a drugstore hairspray so it's really affordable and for a higher end one this is the Seb professional Sebastian shaper zero gravity I really love this hairspray because it does not make your hair feel sticky. You will not even know hairsprays in your hair. It has a really good spray. It's another one of those 
hairsprays that has a different kind of smell. This is in the lightweight control hairspray because I ha like to have, most of the time I'm using hairsprays to hold something and I don't really want it to like feel sticky. So this is a good one that says it's dry, brushable, lightweight control hairspray. And I have brushed over this and I don't have any white residue or anything. So if you want a higher end one, this is a really good one. And that's all the hair products that I'm really, I know it's like a lot, but it's all the hair products that I've just been going to lately. If you have any more questions about any of these products or want a further review on them, I can do that for you. But I just wanted to go through and say what I've really been using seriously for the past like month, I guess. Most of these products I've been using for the past month. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that jazz. It's all going to be linked down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.